Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series, part 70. And we are on day 137. All right, so we're moving along here. All right, well, we're still, technically it's almost daylight. I think maybe we'll be able to read a little bit of the book. So we'll try to read some of it, but we're going to do the archery book. And uh, I'm going to leave things like the wolf pelt here and anything else. Like these... Uh, carrots and stuff like that if we if when we re come back through this area um on our return trip we might be grateful for some of these things like we might need to make a repair on the coat or something like that we'll be grateful that we have them here waiting for us um i'm trying to think how best to get down to the maintenance shed i'll probably just walk the reverse course of the way i, I went in i'm thinking could try to well we could go down a rope I need to lose some weight though that's the problem this pack is getting kind of heavy if i hadn't let the uh wolf out it expired would be just fine but i did so all right well let's just go ahead and read here for an hour until things lighten up and we can see what we're doing i think we, i think we're good now all right it's still a little dark let's go ahead and read a little bit more i might just finish this book here yeah probably do that where's that book at there it is yeah, just so we can get really close to being level 5. We'll see what the weather looks like, too. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so. Let's see here. I can also do a little bit of repairing on clothing. I'll probably do that back at the maintenance yard. The train station. Um, not sure how many curtains, or not clerk curtains, but cloth they have. So I'm just going to grab some of these real quick. Um, what was that? Was that two? Or that was... Oh, it's three. Okay. Well, six should be enough. <laughs> All right. Looks like we need too many more than that. All right, let's head downstairs. Drop the things we don't need to be carrying around too much. And we'll go and put this rope out there in case we want to come up that way as well um, in the future. Get back here. Um, what do I want to drop? I probably want to drop all this. Let me organize it this way. Keep these two books. Drop the coal. There's more coal at the maintenance shed, but we could leave one here. Emergency coal. Um, I do want to harvest this, though. Get that hide in the guts curing. Again, if we come back in and our, our rabbit skin hat is really in bad shape, we'd be glad to be able to make a quick repair. So, I doubt that'll ever happen. We'll probably never come back to this building, but just in case. So that should be the gut drop is that it okay no more let's drop the wolf skin pelt rabbit rabbit skin wolf skin with incredible echo <laughs> um, uh, I'm pretty sure you use this for noisemakers got to go to get the recipe for that I think that's at black rock penitentiary that's gonna be fun um Probably want to find some flares before we go there. <laughs> uh, yeah, just strictly from self-defense standpoint. I'm going to drop one of these. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's drop the carrots and stuff. We'll put that up on the table. So that they'll still be here. We've got a lot of, lot of uh, cattails. And we'll drop this flour and this potato. Yeah, put all that stuff there. It should be fine. If we need it in the future, we just throw it on the skillet and give it an extra 50% condition. Doesn't even matter if it's 0%, but with our... Oh, you know what? We're going to need these. And we got ourselves some water, some potable water out of it, so that's good. But I do need to take these with me for our little trek. Too much stuff to carry. Okay. Um, I think we're a little heavy on water. Not much, but we have more in the uh, maintenance shed, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll drop most of that. Try to get below 30 kilograms. That way I can shimmy down the little rope. What else? Drop this. Don't need that. What else don't I really? I really don't need the replacement views at this point. You know, I'll, pro I'll, probably take, I'll probably take the replacement views, honestly. I could always go down the side of the... Oh, you know what? We'll drop those there, too. Drop these. And I don't need that many cloth. Let's just drop four here. 
Yeah, now we're underweight. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, rope. Get it. Get it mounted up here and shimmy down before we get too tired to go down that far. And, oh. Yeah, we're showing, uh, can I climb over? You're going to let me climb over? You're going to let me climb our, over, are you? Are you? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Just had to be persuasive. It looks a little nasty out. So let's get our rope deployed. And then get down before we... Okay, so there should be a cave over here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got a bear right down here, <laughs> and a deer. Um, I'm going to have to wait for the bear to pass for a second here. How are we doing on... We're good there. Okay. I do want to take this with me. My fingers feel I could leave. I could leave the piece of coal up here if push came to shove. Could get another drink, too. Um, you know what? Let's eat some of these apple pies while we wait for uh, the bear to pass. We got some of these uh, rose hip pies here. We'll get a little headache, but that's all right. And I'm gonna yeah, let's go inside and eat these Damn. real quick. Now we got. Now we just went overweight. I shouldn't be carrying around the uh, stupid uh, toolbox either. It's my my own fault. I should have left that back at the maintenance shed or uh, even so. Even the uh, camp office, that probably would have been better. This should give us more energy, actually, I think, right? This is, yeah. So we got a little headache, but man, we're uh, wide awake now. <laughs> so I'm going to leave these here. This is going to be emergency food. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, you know what? That might be good for on the road food, too. I mean, we got the cattail stocks. That's a lot. But uh, can I pick these up without being overweight? Mm, maybe not. cold. I think they're 0.3 kilograms each batch. So they're 1.1 kilogram per pie. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Ah, bearskin bedroll. Who, ne who needs that, right? Let's just get rid of that. If I could get rid of this thing, that would be a huge help. We'd be right at 30. Cured leather. Probably don't need that. And geez, I can get rid of one of these. There we go. Maybe all of them. Jeez. Okay. And we're still going to be a little overweight. All right. I'm dropping that. We're, I'm sure we'll find more of that in the near future. And the fuse. Okay. We're under. I, I really want the pies, though, for travel food. I think they're going to be good. Feels like negative 16. That's not the best. Let's go around this way. I don't want to screw around with that anymore. All right. Let's see where the bear is now. So he's... Moved on a little little further down the road. Good. I think we're out of his range, so we'll head on down. Luckily, this doesn't wear us out too much, and we'll go seek shelter inside this cave next to us, warm up a little bit, see what the weather does, see if there's anything. There might be a body or something worth looting in, in here as well. All right. So there's the bear. I did good. If I if I get chased by a wolf, I'm running right past that bear. So. There's a rabbit over there. Never mind. I'm going. To, I'm going past the rabbit. Let's get the old bow out. I wonder if I'm shaky because I'm got the headache. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so cold. That might be it. I just realized that I got little. My core's getting a little, little chilly. Oh, we got ourselves a little box here to check. As long as we don't need. A key. Yeah, we need a key. Okay. Well, we'll just hang here for a minute. Should be nice and toasty back here. 13. That's fine. I don't think it matters if I go back any further. Honestly. Yeah, it's the same. Alright, let's uh, let's read another chapter in a book. We got... Uh, yeah, we're looking good. We're not too cold or anything. I think we're okay. I, don't, I think as long as it's not completely red, we're good. Um, but we'll check it. We'll see. Yep, we're fine. Headache healed. Nice. Nice. Okay, we like that. Alright, so we read another chapter. Let's see what the weather's looking like. If it looks too nasty out, we'll just hang out here and read again. Alright. Now let's climb up here. This will be a little escape perch right here if I need it. But I do have a rabbit here I can use. I can sacrifice for the cause. All right. We shouldn't have any more ropes to negotiate uh, right now. There is another one down here that goes down to like a, a creek, like sort of a ravine. 
Um, but I am going to go by the maintenance shed and drop off things like the, the toolbox and all that stuff first. That way we don't have to worry about getting down there, becoming fatigued, and then not being able to get back up without a rest and maybe no good shelter for that, that sort of thing. So, all right, we'll just keep an eye out here for little fur missiles. We know where the bear is, at least. Oh, I guess he could have a brother. Could have a twin brother lurking. So this is where we're going to come. We're going to grab the rope that's inside the, uh, the maintenance building. We'll come out here, deploy it here. And then we go down here, and I believe there might be some... Ah, it's been so long. I've been down here, like, twice. I think there might be some... Uh, maybe some flare supplies or something like that there. I know, I, I'm pretty sure Ravine has that. Uh, good chance to get some flare ammunition we got the flare gun we just need ammunition for it so all right let's keep moving on here that will take us straight up to the uh, railroad tracks and then to the bridge that goes over to the next region next region over there but in the meantime, all right, eyes forward. <laughs> I'm gonna go. So yeah, if we go this way, it takes you over to the to the railroad tracks. Um, let's go this way. My head feel thick. I'm pretty sure we can. Cool. Yeah, this is the uh, like I think there's an entrance. Yeah, the little side entrance here, and then there should be a back door going into the into the maintenance building here just as long as we don't pull any wolves make sure I don't have any decoys in my inventory that I'm forgetting about take the high ground early and often I wonder how easy they would have trying to get to me with the path pathfinding through all these objects if they were really like aggro on me right there alright so we made it back one piece health's doing really good things are looking up everything's coming up millhouse i thought that was a rope <laughs> we do have a rope in here right i'm not tripping out that a secure gut i am tripping out i thought we had a rope i'll find it if we have one i'll find it here somewhere if not we'll, we'll figure something out might just have to wait a minute how are we doing here oh we got a lot of wolves we got a lot of wolves. I don't think I'm going to go out that way. I'm just going to use the back way in and out. Do we got two? Oh, 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 oh. Who are you? Which one's coming at me? I don't really want to be killing more wolves. Honestly, I just end up wearing down my, my gear faster. Yeah. I wonder if I can... Is that what I want? That's what I want. I wonder if I can get him to just leave me alone. I'm pretty sure it won't shoot through there. I'm, I think it'll catch there. And we've got three. Yeah, we got three wolves right there. Okay. Took him out. The other one's going to die. It's okay. We can always make more arrows. It's not a big deal. Let's see if we can pull this one. Come here, buddy. I guess I'll take him out. Because, you know, free meal. That looked like a good hit. Hey, right, look at that. Right in a jugular. How's he not dead? Where are they running to? Don't run out that way. I'm going to follow them. See where they go. Yeah, yeah you're injured, dude. Did you drop my arrow there? No. Let's we'll see where these guys go with my arrows. So cold. They went this Just way. At least one of them did. Bit. At least one of them went this way. Yeah. He's not gonna last that long, right? Let's climb up here. Might be able to see really good from up here. Come on, let me up. 
You really? You're gonna try to hit, you're gonna try to attack me from there. Aren't you injured? Aren't you injured, brother? <laughs> um, you must be a healthy one that I was unaware of. <laughs> All right, well, he's easy to find. And that's a deer down there. Someone was asking in the comments if that was a deer or a moose. That's that's a deer. Huh. Okay, well, I got three of them out here with arrows. I'm going to start looking. I don't care. I'm in control here. Take these guys out if they need to be taken out. There's a bear out there. Now he he can he can okay, so here's one running. Pretty sure this is one that I've injured. So I'm gonna actually get a little high ground here. I wonder if they just can't juke that much when they're climbing. Because normally they start doing the side to side thing. But when he was coming up it looked like he, he basically had to stay straight, you know. I think this guy's got the arrow in him. No reason why he'd be running like that. He's like running like he's still hurt. Yeah, he's bleeding. He's bleeding pretty heavily. We've got another one over here. It might be the same tracks, same guy. He's just sort of circling back on himself. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. Did he go all the way up there? Where are you guys circling at? Over here? Did somebody die over here? Is that the deer? That's probably the deer. There's a deer here. That's not the deer. That's the one we saw earlier. I probably just keep bumping these guys out. And if I leave them alone, they come back and die right at the uh, maintenance shed or maintenance garage. That's probably, I'm probably doing it wrong here. Okay, we got something down here that's dead. Is that a, just a deer? Oh, we got a wolf here, but he's a Frady Cat wolf. And I got an arrow here. That's weird. How did that happen? I mean, I'll take it. He must have uh, dropped the arrow at some point. I know I'm freezing, but I'm having fun here, folks. I'm I'm aggroing on the wolves. Yeah, he's he's injured. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll hang here for another day. I'm gonna I'm gonna go warm up a little bit, come out, and uh, start a fire next to this wolf. See where these two drop, maybe. Uh, that's that deer again. I think they're right there. There's another one there. Is this... This is the buck. This has got to be the buck over here. Oh, yeah, so just another deer. Okay. And we got him up on the rock. There's like, sure aren't many wolves out today. I wonder what happened to them all. Hmm. All right, let's get inside and warm up. We'll read another chapter. Over here. Eat some more pies. All right, we'll go in this way. Then I'll go around to the front area and we'll read out there. We should be just as warm out here as we are in here. So, I think we'll, we'll be fine here. Yeah, a couple degrees cooler, but not bad. Now, did he drop over here? Did we, did we get one dropped? I got the one here. Too heavy. Okay. And the other two should drop soon. All right. I'm going inside to read. I want I want them to be able to return back. I don't know how that works, but if I lose them, so be it. If they kind of do that glitch thing, that's fine. Whatever. I'm tired of wolves bullying me around. It's time for, time for me to bully them. Or I'm done with it. Oh, well, that's cool. We'll start reading this one then. Let's see what I think about that. All right, good deal. Do we have enough water? I don't remember. Can we actually do a water cook here or no? Did I drop any water? Maybe not. No, we need some water. I think. Yeah. 
cook it in here, that's for sure. Yeah, this would be a great great spot for it, honestly. As long as it lets me put one down here. Maybe then maybe it won't. Yeah, might not. Okay, well. If that's the case, we'll just use I don't really want to use this. This is just one burner. Right? I don't think I can get two cans on this. Is it one or two? Yeah, it's just one. I don't want that. That kind of sucks. There's that rope I was talking about. All right, well, we'll make some water. Um, let's go start a fire outside a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I really wish I could start a fire in here. <gasps> no, no way. For real? You gonna let me do it? Oh, it just has to be in a nice, clear, wide open spot. Okay. I don't want it where I'm gonna fall over and burn myself or anything. That's that's not good, because then I can't get out <laughs> if I want to. If I, okay, that was a good spot. All right, that looks pretty good. We should be able to do the mag... Really? Is it really cloudy? No, it's not cloudy. Come on, what are you talking about? We're gonna start a fire out here, and we're gonna bring it inside. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. And do I have enough fuel? That's the next question, I guess. Hmm. Things have changed. Things have changed. I don't have wood in here. I got a piece of coal. Don't really need that. Three really reclaimed. We'll take that. Something's gotta go. And that should be enough to boil up a decent amount of water for traveling. So. And then while this is boiling, I should be able to take that rope, run it over, and uh, take care of business. All right. Looks good. Let's do it. Might just boil it out here if it doesn't seem like it's gonna get too windy. If it does, we'll take it where we just almost placed it down inside, just inside this door. Right now it looks pretty tame out. And I can stand on the other side and stay warm. I should be able to, right? Should be able to get some heat effect from it. Yeah. Plus, it's considered indoors, so really don't matter. All right, let's throw that on there. Let's get this going. Try to get about two liters going here. At least. Yeah, should be good. Should be good. We're warming up slowly. Warming up nicely here. Can't read. Uh, I'd boil away all my water. So, can I do a repair? Like a small repair? On something? Let's take a look here. Oh, I want to repair this little sweater. Oh, I need some cloth. Okay. Mm, I don't really know if I feel like doing it right now. Let's see. If we have cloth, we'll we'll consider it. Meh. Oh yeah, I got some sticks here too. All right. Well, I guess once I get warmed up here, let me take a look and see how cold it is out here. Oh, it's not bad. I can head over here and quarter up this wolf, honestly, and then maybe get the one up there on the on the uh, the rock that I just killed. We'll quarter both of them up and pull the meat in here. This will be a nice little stopping over spot, though, when we come back. We're going to have meat and water and things like that ready to go. Is that, a, is that a dead wolf laying up right next to... Let me get a gun out or an arrow. Right there. Is that a dead wolf up there? Or is that just a part of the rock? Hmm. Not sure. It kind of looks like a wolf laying down. I'm going to go investigate that real quick. Let me get a little closer look here. I guess I need to have this out in case there's another surprise wolf. But... That's just a rock. Okay. Okay. I had to, I had to find out. Go check this yet? I don't know if I've checked this yet. Yeah, I have. Okay. What's our temp out here? Negative three. Can I get close enough to the fire probably not let me see if I can quarter this thing up is he gonna, they're gonna let me quarter it 
Um, quarter of that. One hour? No. I can't do it. I can't do an hour when I'm doing this. I'll get into it in a minute here. Might just move the fire over a little bit, honestly. Throw a coal on it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay. Well, what do we want to drop then? I'd like to get all those pallets busted up. That'd be like a three hour job or something though. But I tell you what, when you're doing it, the only way the wind's getting you is from all that direction. About is food. That might be worth it. Have a ton of firewood here ready to go. Let's see if I can time this right. So we can just leave it. Am I really that tired? I guess I am. 35 minutes, 12, 30. Okay. So we should have... How much water we got here? We got two liters, and then we're going to have another um, liter right here. That's not bad. And let's see what the temp's out here. Negative six. I'm going to try to quarter this guy up right quick. Really only let me get it from a certain angle here. Okay, let's quarter this guy up. Fire should go out here shortly. There it goes. Oh, no, really? Only one stinky line? For all that? That's crazy. All right. We're inside. There we go. Did I leave a gut out there? It looked like something was on the ground. Nope, these. just a blood splat. Splat. Okay. Well, as nice as it is outside, I want to... Okay, let me grab these. kind of want to go do the other wolf and give us something to do tonight. So let's, uh, let's warm up here. I'm going to warm up in the bed because that'll be fastest. I get a little bit of a bonus there. And I can interrupt it ex exactly when we're done, like so. All right, hopefully the weather's still cooperating with us. Negative nine, not too bad, not too bad. Could still get a free fire, honestly. Take a little bit of the edge off. Might do that. All right, what's going on here? See if maybe maybe uh, one of the wolves dropped somewhere, somewhat close. Yeah, he's right there. That's the that's the dead one. Did you have any friends that came over to rest in peace next to you? I have a feeling this wind's going to be a little much for a fire. So maybe we'll just uh, deal with a little bit of a cold hit. And quarter this guy up next. That wolf was definitely determined to get to me, though. He's pathfinding the heck out of this rock. Okay, you guys see him? Uh, those are two stumps. That's the deer moose. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and duck down here. Let's take a look here. Feels like negative 13. A little cold. Let's uh, let's gut it out here. That's a decent one. There. Oh, we're hungry again. I <laughs> just messed up the whole uh, well-fed thing. Oh well, it's just not meant to be. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple of these. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Oh, I guess I'm just Sounds grabbing one. Silly. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I was running and trying to pull up the uh, stinky lines. No hole over there. Gotta eat soon. We're gonna go in the back door here. I need to find a place to rest. Uh, all right. There we go. I might have to drop some gear. All right. Well, we got enough to work tonight. We'll, we'll go get the other bags tomorrow and the guts. 
but uh, negative 10, that's fine. We can sit right here and work on things. I think I should be able to use it. Go bare hand here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Warm up a little bit. I get a drink here after we get done with this bag. Nice. We're going to be nice and tired tonight. Should sleep pretty much the 10 hours, the full 10 hours. There we go. All right. Drop that meat there. Rinse and repeat. I'm just so used to not even paying attention to the hunger meter <laughs> over all these years. <laughs> it's really hard for me to get concerned whenever something turns red over there. This is like, ah, eh, yeah, we'll just recover at night. No big deal. Like this amount of condition loss, not a problem. No big deal. But if I'm wanting to do something where I want to carry things with me, yeah, I need to like try to do that. But oh, well, it is what it is. And we could start a fire in here if we wanted to and just cook in here. Um, completely protected. I, I wonder if we're protected, like if we stand here. It looks like this whole area is no matter if you're near the window or anything it's hard to tell because the wind's coming from over there but behind. uh yeah so all right well we'll leave these here i can always have uh some cattails or some rosehip pies things like that um this normally means there's no wolves out there i could probably go out and grab the other two things if i eat a rosehip pie or i'll just wait for tomorrow when it's nicer i think we'll just do that yeah and um the bed's only a five degree bed. If it gets much colder outside, we could end up freezing to death. Um, so I'm gonna, in the sake of being extremely careful, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep inside here on the bear roll, bear bed roll. Let me find a little spot here. I need my, need my little lantern here for a sec. Oh wait, there's a bed in here. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't need to use my bear bed roll. I forgot about the bed back here. There's a bed in here. Don't Aurora me right there. Yeah, this is where we'll stay. Nice. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's eat a little something, something here. I don't want those. They'll give me energy. <laughs> I'll be like all jacked up. Let's see if I have anything spoiled that I can eat that isn't appearing on the menu. No, not really. Okay. Looks like it's going to be cattails. Which is fine. Don't feel like cooking up the steaks right now. Because if I cook up one, I'm going to want to cook them all up. And then it's going to be a half, an, half the night. To carry. Half the night cooking episode. And we'll do uh, one more, I think. That's all we should need. And get a drink. I'm not going to use the, uh, or the herbal tea. Because the birch bark tea. Because... Uh, our health isn't that bad. There we go. All right. Looks good. Yeah. All right. I don't think I'm even going to bother trying to... I'm not going to bother with the well-fed until maybe we get to the... to the next region. What is it? It's, uh, it's the airfield, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. If not, we're going to find out what region we're going to. Pretty sure it's the airfield. 137, one hour, 30 minutes. Someone mentioned in the comments. Probably would have been better get, get like the uh, technical backpack horse. and the boost hide satchel before doing this. Which, yeah, that would have made more sense. Because I could have had like an extra 10 kilograms of carry capacity. Let's get a drink. While we stand on possible live wires. And we're almost completely healed. There's probably the little bit of uh, dehydration in the morning there that got me. It looks a little foggy. Looks a little foggy. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go grab these other bags. See what happens here. It's negative 21 degrees, so it's a little cold. <laughs> it's a little cold for travel. 
So there's got to be like three dead wolves out here. The, maybe the first one I shot that took off this way with my arrow is like gone now, but the other two should be around here somewhere. Hmm. And uh, main thing today is I want to probably cook up some of this meat and then uh, get that rope down there. Explore that uh, ravine a little bit. bag to go I feel like I feel like I should be lower on arrows but no I'm not I wonder if the first wolf died near the, the deer and that's where that rat that uh arrow that I just found near the lake um dropped and it was just sitting there but the the wolf had uh, despawned by that point in time. Not sure. Not too sure. I wonder if I can drop any of this. Probably do give a nice little boost to the energy, though. I won't say that much. Okay. Wonderful. I'm gonna move these in here. Somewhere. Just try to keep it somewhat organized. This is kind of almost becoming a miniature base of operations. I'm trying to think. Do we have a crafting table? I know we got the forge. I'm trying to remember. Ah, oh, I don't really care. I was going to say we could probably. Once those saplings cure we could probably make ourselves some arrows we got the forge here we can do a couple arrowheads and go from there but I, I don't think I have the heavy hammer with me so not a big deal unless I find a broken arrow I can do that but is it really worth going through getting using all the coal to get it up to temperature just to make like well no I guess if I had a if I had a broken arrow I'd get the arrowhead back yeah probably do that I never really thought about that, but I guess you don't. Once you have the arrowheads, that's it. They're they're never gonna. I don't think they ever go bad. Like they never. Can't feel my feet. They never wear out. So as long as you have birch and feathers, you're good. Keep reproducing the uh, arrows. Guess I never get that far in, <laughs> in the gameplay, or I just don't use them that much. Something's gotta go. But I am getting a little, not really, I guess, like, trigger happy with this one. Sick of running from these wolves. Like the, like the kid that got picked on by the bullies. And now I'm fighting back. Die if I don't warm up soon. <sighs> Good news. You won't die. All right. Well, while we warm up here. It, one degree. Yeah. Okay, we're going in here to warm up. Yeah, that's better. Move away from the electrical cables because I don't even trust them during the daytime. All right, let's just go out and harvest here. We've been out a lot, so I don't think we have to worry about cabin fever. Plus, we're going to be traveling quite a bit in the near future. And if we do get cabin fever, we have one of the best places to hang and kill that. Right next, right next to us where we just came from. Okay, next. Make it happen. If, if we get a clear sky, I'll probably just cook all this meat now that we got it all out here. Might do another, uh, let's get the rope out first. And while we're doing that, we might run across one of the wolves that's dead. And then we can reevaluate there. Too heavy. That rope was back here next to the... It was back here next to the old... Uh, then, yeah, we're, then we're going to really be overweight with this rope. Yeah. 
And is there, there's no exit out this way, I don't think. Yeah, we're rolling a bit heavy. But I just want to get this thing deployed. So, we're going to do it. Pretty sure we're kind of wolf-free in this immediate area here for the next several days. But you never know. I'm just going to be extra cautious. The rule of one. Always assume there's one more of the threat. I'm not carrying any, anything like guts or anything like that that I'm going to be pulling from. Pulling animals from a mile away or anything. Definitely not getting a free fire tonight or today um, with current weather conditions. Maybe things will change a little bit, but need to go that way a little bit, I think. I don't think the bear comes over this area here next to these rocks, but I'm just going to be extra careful. Um, I don't see any cattails on any of these either. Still, okay. Maybe from a different angle. Gear. Maybe, maybe from, I'm going to go up over to this, and there might be a little miniature waterfall there. I'm not sure. And if there is, I'm going to take a look that way and see if I can spot a couple of those wolves dead. Uh, maybe recover those arrows. Okay. And if we're, if we're underweight here... Once we deploy this rope, I might just shimmy down and shimmy back up. I got those pies to give me extra energy if I need them. They're almost like nice little cups of coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's getting nice and foggy, too. Probably getting warmer. No, it's not getting warmer. Normally, I feel like it should be getting warmer, but it's not. I'm getting a little cold, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, uh, too heavy still. So. so what can I drop up here? And we're really close. We're really close. I'm going to drop the toolbox here. <laughs> and I'm going to drop this book here. And what else do I need to drop? Some other stuff, apparently. I'm going to drop the sled. Uh, I'm going to keep that with me. I'm going to drop this hacksaw. Mm, there might be a box down there I need to saw, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we don't need 21 of these. Okay. That's probably going to be our weight right there. In case we get stranded a little bit. I still got pies to eat, but Goddamn freezing. And everything else looks reasonable. Drop that. Drop those. Normally there's um, just a couple to get get started. For heat, extra heat. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go for it. What do we got here? Oh, I thought those are arrows at first. I'm like, dude, cool. <laughs> well, I we got some wood there, in case we need to get Stranded over there. I'm just going all the way down. Going going up, I'm going to need to use that ledge. Going down, we're, we'll be all right. I need to get the uh, crampons as well at some point. Either make them myself or, uh, or get them. Uh, get the brand name ones, you know. <laughs> all right, let's get this out just in case they've added some little monster down here that I'm not aware of since I've been down here like four years ago <laughs> five years ago I don't know but it's been a minute it has been a while I think this is pretty short and sweet down here though and we got ourselves a deer we got some wood down here if we need it uh we got something else down here is that a wolf that is a wolf Either that or he's sleeping all right gotta be careful because can't carry too much stuff back up you know I only got like a two kilograms of wiggle room here and you got another Oh, we got cattails here as well. Got a little piece of wood here as well. You got an arrow next to you? That'd be really cool if you were my guy. Oh, I don't know why I dropped, why I carry that. That's dumb. I didn't drop that. Uh, I'm just going to leave that in case I need to eat down here. There's plenty of food to last down here for several days. Looks like we got lots of wood as well. Yeah. Yeah, we got... We can definitely warm up down here if we need to. Oh wow, there's lots of just dead dead animals down here. And lots of uh, cattails. Where's the bridge? Is it further up here? Probably a little further. I feel like we should be going under the bridge.
want to know what's killing all these animals down here. Dark Walker. That'd be terrifying. Hmm. This might not be. Maybe the juice isn't worth worth the squeeze on this one. I don't know. What's this? Just, just piece of railroad. Are we? No, is that? No, that's not it. That's just a random piece of. What we got in here? Anything worthwhile in this box? Supply bin. Hope nobody needs this. Coffee. Okay. Yeah. Not not anything really to write home about. Honestly. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We'll probably have a nice little uh, protected area back here though to get warmed up. But all right. Well, I was hoping for flares, but didn't come across it. I'll probably end up dropping most of this wood over here. Another drink. What are we doing? Yeah, I can drop some of these things here. No doubt. Double check something here. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I think it was 12. I, was, I thought there was going to be a, uh, like a little uh, cave shelter down here, but uh, where I could warm up, but apparently not. Apparently just come down here and freeze to death. Oh no, am I stuck in here? I hope not. Nope, I'm not. I'm fine. I'll be able to get out of this. Yeah, we'll just go this way. We'll just go this way. All right, we're nowhere clear here. We don't have to worry about this anymore. No more bow work. So, oh, it's just a hoof sticking out a little bit. What if I go this way? I wonder what happens if I go that way more. I can't remember. I don't think this is a transition zone down here, but find out soon enough. Here's my rope. Why are you pointing me that way? There's nothing there, pointer tree. You're supposed to point me towards things. All right, so yeah, there's, yeah, literally it's just a waterfall. I'm gonna check back here, see if there's maybe a little, little box or something. All right, let's head on up. I'll we'll have to make a little adjustment here with the, the weight, but that, that'd that be all right. Well, that wasn't worth it. There we go. And I don't want to get stuck on that thing. <laughs> uh, let's drop that cedar wood. There we go. Should be good now. Yeah. All right. Maybe a little pie. I'm going to have a pie. I know it'll give me a headache, but it should give me a nice boost to my energy here. There we go. All right, let's go up to the first ledge. Don't try to do it all in one go, folks. It will not end well. I promise you that. We'll stop here, recover. Admire the view. Oh, no, I can do it. I can do it. No, I'm just kidding. You definitely can't do it. So. All right, let's hang here for a minute. I don't know where that pointer tree was pointing at. It's like right here, right? It's pointing that way. I don't think we can even make it over there. Yeah, it was too steep to go up and over that way, I think. Oh, I'm tempted, but... I'm tempted to go over there to explore a little bit, but I get the feeling I shouldn't. <laughs> I could eat anything right now. All right, well, we're almost there. Let's... Yeah, we're still good. No, we're not. We're we're encumbered again. Let's have another pie. Give us a little boost here. There we go. Get rid of that encumbrance. All right, we should be good. All right. 
It's gonna tucker us out going up this rope. It's a good way to wear yourself out for the night. Alright, we'll pick up all our junk here. Well, that was kind of a waste. Let me grab all this junk. Oh my gosh, I gotta pick up all these cattails. Forgot that it just didn't stack in a nice little neat pile. <laughs> Alright, let's head on back. I'll just follow the footprints, take a peek up over that little spot there, and we'll see if we, uh... I'm not sure I can carry much more. See if we can see a carcass down there. Apart from letting the uh, well-fed bonus expire yet again, a pretty productive episode. Get down here, got a couple wolves. Harvested uh, a couple more on the run. Probably probably turn up here as we explore a little bit I'm, I'm just gonna walk this a little bit here if I need an energy boost I'll just use oh yeah shoot I'm I'm frozen again I was gonna experiment see if the headache was causing me to shake or anything but it's weird though okay so I guess the water's going that way All right, I'm gonna get up on this hill here this rock should give me a good view lots of firewood here my goodness all just waiting to be had man I miss rifle and pistol days oh so nice to have those all right wolfies where you at here's one lone wolf out there uh, he doesn't look too hurt does he? Looks like he's walking normal, right? And I haven't checked out that hunting stand either. Yet. Alright, I think I'm just going to walk it straight back in. Yeah. Okay. Well, they must have... I don't know where they went. Maybe they're in front of the maintenance garage now. They just recently died there. Who knows? Who knows? Can't help pick up sticks. It's addictive. Or it's addicting. I need anything right about now. Sorry, Will. Don't know what to tell you. You're with me. Starvation is the thing. You're just going to have to have to be dealing with I feel like I've kind of taken taken over this whole area apart from that one lone wolf and then the uh, the bear this pack is getting kind of heavy what time is it it's still middle of the day no risk of getting lit up here Okay. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to drop? I know I need to take. Hmm. Good on arrows. Apart from the ones I lost. 32 kilograms, which isn't bad. Could use a little more water. Probably be running a little heavy. And I got two fresh wolf pelts that I should have dropped. That's that's probably not helpful when it comes to carry weight. Yeah, how did that slip by? I want to drop this here on the railroad tracks up there. Because I don't think I'll need it out there. A few arrows. I'm good. Let's drop these. That's a significant amount. That was... A decent amount. Alright. Drop this. Drop these sticks. There we go. We can always pick up what we need. Bunch of feathers, which really doesn't amount to anything at all. I 
I kind of want to shove off now, but I'm a little, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I need, I need to stay here one more night. Um, let's go ahead and cook up the meat then. Um, feels like nine degrees there. Place to escape feels like this negative cold. 11. Let's warm up and then I'm going to come back here and, oh, uh, you know what? Let's just bust up pallets in here. There's going to be tons of free reclaimed wood in here. We might as well just do this. Not the cardboard boxes. That's not what we want. Metal lamp. <laughs> here we go. Pallet. Yep. Make it happen. Yeah, we'll just cook up the, the meat. We'll do that. Crate. Yeah. Hungry again. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Sorry. And we'll do this again. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. We got all kinds. We might end up getting something decent underneath one of these. <sighs> I wonder if I can drop any of this I'm going to do one more of these, and then uh, we'll start our little cooking session. We should have plenty of reclaimed wood. 17. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's go outside and do this. Or not outside, but over over here. I think I need to lay down. I forgot. I mean, you just look around, and you can just see all these boxes that need to be busted up for reclaimed wood. There's even a couple up here. I don't even know if you can get to them or not. I wonder if I can, like, look up and get to them. Not quite. Uh, maybe, uh, is there some way up there? Gotta eat soon. That I'm unaware of? No. Yeah, but, I mean, there's boxes everywhere. Like here, crate, crate, pallet, ladder. It's going to give me six right there. All kinds of stuff. All right, let's go up front and cook, and we'll, I guess we'll start that in the next episode. It'll be a little cook session, and we'll jump off from here and head across the bridge and continue on to the next region. Pretty sure it's the airfield. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing a walkabout, basically. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.